This is Ozzy Griffin, uh, doing a response to Nick Allen, aka Slick Nick Forever. Mate, I'd have kept that channel title, that's pretty bitching. So, basically, you were very earnest in your comments, so I decided to give you a full review. Um, first of all, I don't think John Lennox really makes a good argument for design. Because uh, he uses, I think it's called the post hoc fallacy, where he's, conf he's confusing the signs in a field... Uh, for the uh, things that they denote. Basically, look, if, if you want a better argument for design, it's this, that the whole universe is actually alive, is a giant organism, in more dimensions than we can count. Possibly 12. Long story there. Uh... And is basically cultivating us the same way we cultivate gut bacteria to be in good health. Though on a much, 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 much bigger scale. Which may explain why we occasionally feel prompted to help out other people. Or to do certain things which wind up helping up other people. Though I can't prove that. Now, the truth is... I've got to say, you know... I don't know what the bigger picture is. However, I'll put it to you this way. John Lennox does not do a good job of it. If anything, it goes close to pantheonism or what I might call a very, very, very optimistic version of what... Uh, of or almost a contrary version to what H.P. Lovecraft de described. There are bigger, more complex more bedazzling life forms out there we can imagine. However, I don't believe they have it in for us. If anything, it's the opposite. They need to make sure that down to the way you do your schedule in the morning, you have a good day so that there are other benefits that flow from it. That's the only thing I can think of. The truth is, it's not about whether you follow one dogma or another. That's not what I've seen. It's about whether you understand yourself. I personally have had a rum lot of luck trying to find myself in mainstream religion. That's, that's just the sad truth of it. I have friends who've done very well, and I respect them to death. It's just not my thing. So, I don't take this literalistic, easy road interpretation of Christianity. I see it as a hodgepodge of influences over time. If I want to find spirituality and love, I live without contradiction. And I breathe, and I walk, and I talk to others, and I listen. That is where I find God. That is where I see a guiding hand. That it, And when stuff aligns that should not align, that could not align, that does not make sense, that, that is where I find the greater truth of my life. So anyway, not a huge fan of John Lennox. Not a huge fan of Richard Dawkins either, as it happens. Just like to see things falling into place and the unexplainable helping things fall into place. Because I see that all the time. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. I'll talk to you later.